Welcome to part two of joint immobilization. For this video, my patient is going to be both the patient and the proctor. So he will respond whenever I check for CMS. So let's go ahead and get straight into it since this is the second video and you guys know what's going on already. So first things first, BSI, I have everything I need, all my gear for this scenario. I have a right shoulder injury. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and get my patient's arm, put it in a position of comfort and function, and then I'm gonna ha have my patient hold his arm. So go ahead and get this arm shirt and hold your arm in place. Do not let go. This is gonna maintain the weight right there. Now I'm gonna check for CMS. So I'm gonna check for a pulse. Okay, so go ahead and squeeze my finger. Okay, go ahead and let go. And which finger am I touching? Pinky. Pinky, okay. So is my CMS present, Proctor? Yes. Awesome. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to get my appropriate equipment. I am getting my triangular bandage. I already have a knot on here on the short corner. If I did not have a, a knot, I would make a knot on here. Making sure I have everything else. I have my other triangular bandage or my other bandage if I want to use this bandage. I'm gonna go ahead and put the elbow on the knotted end and bring this material on the injured side side of my patient. That's how I hold it. Hmm? Yeah, go ahead and still hold it. And I'm gonna put this other part, the other material that's, that was hanging outside on the opposite side of the injury site. So go ahead and let go of your arm, sir. And let your weight go of your arm. Completely let it go. So you see how it kind of hung on there? Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up a little bit to make sure it's tucked in and it's maintained nicely. I'm gonna knot it off in the back. Not too tight so I can take it off because this is a skills or else I would make sure it's nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and get my swath. Make sure I roll it up. So this right here is making sure that the side is immobilize both above and below the injury site. I am now going to completely secure the arm, the injured joint to my patient's body. So can you go ahead and put your arm out like this, the uninjured one? I'm securing the arm completely to my patient's body. Go ahead and put that arm down. Awesome. And I am checking for CMS one more time just to make sure everything's good to go. Pulses are present. So sort of squeeze my finger. And which finger am I touching? Pinky. Okay, so is CMS present for this scenario? And I am done with this scenario. It's as easy as that. See you guys next time.